is this? Don't really know. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, welcome to my kitchen, of where I do my best to share with you guys easier to make vegan gourmet recipes as my kind of way of saying, hey, making food, especially vegan food, does not need to be complicated, does not need to be bland and boring, and actually, you could really save yourself money by making your own food. So that's my intent with this channel and these videos, and we seem to be on a breakfast kick. So, to continue on the breakfast trend, Today we are making some quick and easy, effortless, homestyle hash brown potatoes in your oven to go along with your sunny side gourmet eggs that we made last time. And next time we are making some crispy vegan bacon. Time after that, we will be making some scrambled tofu eggs. So to continue on with our breakfast train we are going on here, I decided to make a recipe for homestyle hash browns that are kind of reminiscent of a little diner when I used to live in upstate New York in a small little town. This diner would always have these a little bit spicy kind of potatoes, small little chunks of potatoes of like how I'm going to show you guys how to make today. Except she uses a whole lot more oil, took a lot more time to make them, and I'm going to show you guys how to make home style hash brown potatoes in your oven. Really, you don't have to check on it a whole bunch or do anything effort-wise while you are making the rest of your breakfast. So you can make your eggs, you can make your waffles, whatever you're gonna make for breakfast and have these done in like 12 minutes or less. You could even have them done in 10 minutes if you really wanted to. Woo! So without further ado, are you ready to make one of my favorite foods? Potatoes, I'm ready. You ready? Let's make potatoes. <laughs> Alrighty, so first things first, preheat your oven to the highest heat on broil. Then get you two large potatoes. These are russet potatoes. Wash them off and then dry them. Now just take your knife, cut them in half, cut that into small slices, slice them up again, and then cut those slices into cubes. And this is round about the size of potatoes that you are looking for. Then just get you a paper towel and just take off the excess moisture from the potatoes and this comes out to about four cups of chopped up cute potatoes. Next things next, we are needing ingredients. So we have some garlic powder, black pepper, low Cajun seasoning, chipotle roasted garlic seasoning, onion powder, pink Himalayan sea salt, extra virgin olive oil, and smoked paprika. So first I started off with one and a half tablespoons of olive oil followed by a pinch each of salt and pepper. Followed by half a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, one fourth teaspoon of Chipotle roasted garlic seasoning, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And just give everything a nice stir. I'm using rubber spatula here and you just want everything nice and well combined. No extra ingredients at the bottom of your bowl, just on your potatoes. Then put them onto your baking tray or trays. For me, I only have enough space for this one size tray inside my broiler, but just do your best to spread out your potatoes as much as possible onto two pans if you have your broiler inside of your oven. This way your potatoes cook the fastest when they are spread out more. Now put your pan inside of your broiler and depending on how quickly your oven under broil cooks, cook your potatoes for about six to eight minutes. And then just check them again at about five to six minutes and see how much color they have. This will give you an idea of how much longer you need to cook them before you flip them over. When they're nice and colored on the first side, flip them over with your spatula, spread them out all even like how you did the first time and put them back in the oven. Yet again, depending on how hot your broiler gets, cook these for about another four to six minutes. And your potatoes are done when they are nice and crispy in a golden color on the tops and you're ready to go and plate them. This recipe makes about four sides of hash brown homestyle potatoes. Now it's totally optional, but I just like to garnish with a little bit of fresh chives or green onions. And now it's 
time for today's tips. Tip number one. Since this recipe does have Cajun seasoning in it, even though it's just a little bit, if you are one that doesn't really like spicy or you're making it for kids, then consider putting in like half of the amount of the Cajun seasoning or put in something else and stay away from the spicy. You can customize this however you want, so you don't have to go the spicy route. The flavor combination is really up to you. Tip number two. If you cook these for about eight to nine minutes without flipping them over, just sticking them in your oven, technically they are edible. The top is gonna be crispy and the bottom is not going to be. So they're gonna be cooked through, so you could finish these in less than 10 minutes if you wanted to not have fully crispy on both sides of your potatoes. Tip number three, the amount of time to cook these varies depending on how big of a pan that you use. The broiler that I have is a very small size pan that I can put in there, so this round pan is the size I have to work with. However, if you have your oven, um, where I'm used to having a regular broiler on inside of the actual oven, you could put in two sheets, spread out your potatoes. The more that you spread out your potatoes and have room for each potato to cook under the broiler, the quicker your potatoes will cook. Next tip, if your broiler is inside of your oven and not at the bottom of your oven in the pull tray, like how my gas oven is, then make sure that you are putting your potatoes on the very top rack of your oven so that your potatoes cook faster and they aren't in the middle rack because it will take longer for them to cook. And I think the most important tip here is while you are preparing your potatoes, once you start getting your bowl, you chopped everything up, make sure you preheat your oven before you start combining everything together because I find that if the oven is preheated like four or five minutes before you actually stick them in there, your potatoes will cook faster and you don't have to wait as long. Hokey dokey folks, and that's it. That's how easy it is to make home style hash brown potatoes while you're preparing your eggs or you're making waffles or you're making whatever for breakfast. All you gotta do is chop up your potatoes, stir in a few other ingredients, put them onto a pan, put them onto your broiler, and let them cook. I love potatoes. Don't you love potatoes? They're my favorite food. <laughs> Alrighty, it's time to get on to the rest of breakfast. Time for some bacon and for some eggs. And so, if you guys like this video, please make sure to show me that you do by showing me your thumbs, hit the little like button, and please make sure to hit the little ring bell when you do subscribe so you get notified of when the heck my next video comes out. If you do want to see this recipe laid out for you in words, then please make sure to check out my blog website, Everyday Vegan Gourmet, and the recipe will be there for you. Check it out in the description box below for the link. Working on my first cookbook, album, and self-help book. I hope that you guys learned something in this video and that you're excited about making food because whether you're vegan or not, making food does not need to be complex and take a long time and be complicated. It can be easy, it can be cheap and affordable and actually save you money because you spend a lot of money going out to places and buying the pre-made meals that, quite honestly, they don't taste as good as how you can make it. So, have fun cooking in your kitchen and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> the terrible sprinkler. Oh. <laughs> so, without further ado, are you ready to make potatoes? <laughs>